Hey everyone, Rob here, and I have another brand new 3D model to show you, and this is from the 11th of June. So just yesterday, they did another construction of the 3D model. Now, just as a recap, the last time we looked at this, we were noticing Natahai here, this valley was filling up and the lava was flowing pretty constant down through it. And we also noticed that this viewpoint here in the middle was overrun and blocked by lava. So you can't get across anymore. Although people have been walking across this hardened-ish lava to get to the viewpoint. Do not do that. It's very dangerous. If you take a look at the past video, there's an even more dangerous act of someone walking up towards the actual cone up here. Do not do it. It's incredibly, incredibly dangerous. But the lava had gone over here, connected up with all of these other flows and started going down towards Natahai Valley and towards the towards the main road, which is right here where the white part is ending. This is the entrance, sort of where you start the parking lot and where you get food. So we were thinking that this is going to fill up pretty quick. You can see it's actually pretty close to the main road. And from the looks of it, it's a, it's a pretty easy path to get to this area here. I think that's where I'm going to go next in a couple of days. But the big news for me when I was, I was reading the news today is the actual lava has slowed down in this Natahai Valley and it's actually increasing and a lot of the lava is now going in this section over here. We can see it's filled up quite a bit since the last 3D model that we looked at. And some of the comments people were, were also suggesting that this area was the place to look at. Turns out, I totally forgot your name and I apologize for that, but whoever said that comment, you were 100% right. This is where all of the lava is now going. Good news, because it means that the road is not going to be destroyed just yet. I mean, that's still going to happen. But it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's directing the lava here. We don't really know how long it's going to be going in that direction. This eruption has had so many twists and turns with the direction that the lava is going. It's, I don't know where, where it's going to go next. I mean, maybe the road, maybe it'll go this other direction. Who knows? Another piece of news is, I mean, last time we were looking at one of these 3D models, we noticed this lava here is getting closer and closer to the A path. So that's the main easy path. They're now looking at potentially having to close this path because the lava will, if it goes here, I mean, you can see it's getting closer and closer, it will overtake this path. So they're looking at creating another path to the west and it will be closer resembling the B path. So it's more difficult, but they believe that they can construct it in a way that makes it easier for people to get to should this path close, which it eventually will. And the other path will go along the side over here, which is a bit safer because it's higher up. So I think it'll last a little bit longer. So those are all the updates. The main road is going to be safe for a little bit longer. All of the lava is going up towards this back area here, which is good. I mean, it's far away from infrastructure and people and all the roads. So that's great. And uh, yeah, we might be having to close the A path. So just a quick update, quick 3D model. As always, I will put a link to this 3D model in the description so you can take a look yourself and see how everything's going. So until next time, thank you so much for watching.